page builders versus the new native block editor for WordPress called Gutenberg, which, to be honest, picked up some steam recently. So, it's 2021. Which one should we use going forward? Coming up. Hi, my name is Mr. Gecko. I teach students graphic design, web design, and a little bit of uh, WordPress at the university. While on the side, I do build websites for people. So recently, I was on a crossroad. Uh, I do build websites in page builders, but the recent developments of WordPress and the Gutenberg native block editor are quite amazing. And uh, the future of WordPress looks like there is going to be full site editing in WordPress. So the page builders will start to become obsolete because the full site editing feature of WordPress will just replace page builders because it is natively in WordPress and it will enable everyone to utilize it. And the uh, plugins, the, the, the new themes and everything will start to support it. And uh, it's questionable, should I stick with page builder or not? So with my most recent project, I took a leap and uh, decided to go with Gutenberg. But uh, before we dive into that, let's explore what kind of page builders there are and what they can do and what Gutenberg can do so that you can decide whether should you, you know, uh, take a leap like I did and uh, is your project uh, similar to mine? Uh, can, you, can you actually do everything you want in Gutenberg? So uh, there's a lot of questions there. So with page builders, there's a few page builders that are, uh, there's quite a lot of them, but few are the most famous, namely Elementor. Uh, it is the most widely integrated uh, page builder out there. And uh, from what it seems, uh, they're building their cloud, they're branching off WordPress a little bit. Uh, so they're trying to, you know, be future proof. Uh, to keep their clients if they get obsolete in WordPress so that you can always go with the cloud and build website just in Elementor, not WordPress at all. Uh, so I don't know whether I like that or not because uh, I do like sticking to a platform that's open source as WordPress. Uh, but then again, we do not know what WordPress has in store because uh, there's WordPress.com, which offers the same way, you know, managed WordPress solution. And is the full site editing and everything going into that direction? Uh, currently, we don't know, but, uh, you know, it's always going to be adapting. So uh, Elementor, as you can see, this is the this is on their website the showcase what the page builder is uh, basically you have blocks you put them on on a page and you build pages with it uh, and page builders they extend functionalities of wordpress like uh, wordpress natively it has widgets sidebars menus uh, pages posts everything is in a different place and the uh, editing of those things it's like editing an article it's not like building pages it's 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 not working well if you don't have a theme that actually supports editing uh, extensively lots of features so page builders came to be uh, where you can do just everything with them it's not just one theme it's like page builder where you can build any theme you want but the framework is the page builder so elementor is one of the most famous same as divi uh, while elementor is more integrated with a lot of third-party themes uh, divi is more conservative to their own ecosystem they have their own divi marketplace they do offer lifetime plan while elementor doesn't uh, so uh, feature wise they're both rich with features uh, it's, it's quite hard. You need to dig down deep to actually know the differences between them because if one of them has a feature, the other one introduces that feature in their next version and so back and forth. So uh, basically, whatever you want to do with both of them, it comes down to whether they have those plugins to extend functionalities and whether you like what you see, whether you like their designs, whether you you like the 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 way the the look and feel of the builder itself what's more intuitive for you to use uh, but the differences are very minor to be honest you will find people saying 
uh, on one side uh, cheering for Divi, on the other side cheering, cheering for Elementor. Uh, I don't know, some people, for example, I myself, I have a Divi lifetime license because I like to pay once. Uh, while Elementor free version is used on many third-party teams, so that is also nice if you don't need pro version. Uh, so uh, the third one is Brizzy. This is a new kit in block. Uh, they design-wise, I must say, they kind of overcome DV and Elementor. They're the polished uh, page builder, but they're new. They have lots of uh, lots of things to work on. You know, they, they're lacking features from uh, Elementor and DV. Uh, so currently, if you want to take uh, advantage of Brizzy, uh, uh, they have some things differently done. You know, more maybe more intuitive for designers. Uh, as I myself, uh, I'm, I'm designing things, so uh, I find some of their features uh, quite interesting for designers, uh, more intuitive. But they also have this, uh, uh, these icons and uh, things that are supposed to make things faster, but they're actually not because you don't know what you're clicking. If you're not a power user for Brizzy, you have hard times actually. Uh, I myself uh, used it and every time I wanted to click something, I, I needed to click to see what it what it does actually. Uh, so on the other side, uh, DV is uh, quite slow, but th th they had a recent update where uh, they speeded up things in the editor itself. Uh, so uh, there is a Beaver Builder, uh, very similar to DV and Elementor. Uh, it, it's out there for quite a quite a time. Uh, so I'm I'm not gonna go in details uh, like in in all of them. Uh, so the Gutenberg. The Gutenberg editor is uh, the new native editor for WordPress. It's out there for a, a few years and uh, now many plugins and teams started to support it and uh, it's quite amazing what it can do. So uh, if you use WordPress, uh, chances are you saw this. This is natively now in WordPress when you want to open new page. Uh, this is uh, the this editor screen is what you see. Uh, it's integrated. Uh, you can still install classic editor and go back to the classic version, you know, uh, but uh, this is the block editor and to be honest uh, You see the tools and everything uh, how it looks it uh, it doesn't look like page builders page builders have like design wise more intuitive interface, you know here uh, uh, When I built my recent project I found myself, you know uh, You can see the bugs you can see the glitches you can see some things but the speed, for example, uh, the speed you can edit uh, things with, like uh, the, the responsiveness of the whole uh, builder itself, uh, the block editor, it's quite amazing. And uh, I myself find, find it better to use Gutenberg because it's much faster than, for example, Divi or Elementor, just for the fact it's faster. I do not care that this looks like Microsoft Word, you know, uh, it's just a matter of preference, like at the end of the day, if you can build the same thing so with something that looks like this and something that looks like uh, Elementor, uh, I think I'll go for speed. And uh, here, uh, basically, you can do lots of things if you install few if you install stick to a plugin that will extend functionality uh, and extend blocks so here you can click plus and as you can see you have many blocks out there uh, so the thing with the blocks uh, these blocks are actually uh, very similar or same like the page builders have blocks so uh, the the new plugins that came out and that got quite popular with Gutenberg they extend the functionality even more adding more blocks more integrations many other plugins actually now uh, support their adding support Gutenberg by adding their own blocks to the Gutenberg so that you can intuitively use the plugins features in the block editor and uh, that alone is uh, because this is the new native editor, it's supposed that every plugin should now support it. If I use Elementor, I do not know if some plugin will add support for Elementor page builder or not. Uh, I can hope, but for Gutenberg, 
everyone is going for future. Everyone is trying to get uh, their own blocks out there. Everyone is trying to, you know, uh, get integrated with Gutenberg fastly because they see that is the future. So uh, I built my uh, new website in, in, in the, the block editor. I used Cadence theme and Cadence blocks. You can use, there. there's quite a few uh, themes similar to, to Cadence. I find myself using Cadence because uh, it offered a lot of features. Like I didn't see another theme offering that many features. But uh, the, the thing is, uh, whatever theme you use, uh, if it's a, a theme based on the block editor, uh, it's going to extend the Gutenberg pretty much and you will have features you will have these uh, uh, the, the websites with uh, latest HTML CSS technologies uh, they use a section like there's a row and then there's sections columns uh, and then there's inside uh, there's elements so uh, natively uh, Gutenberg uh, didn't support that but uh, now it does and the uh, other block plugins they have these uh, row features columns and everything so you can build page the same way you can build in Elementor or Divi or any other page builder so I built my recent website in Gutenberg and I love it the performance the speed is blazing fast whoever tells you uh, yes you can optimize page builders gecko they can be fast yes but you can also optimize Gutenberg and it can be faster much faster so if you haven't tried out please do not tell me that page builders can be optimized the way Gutenberg can be optimized is just another league so uh, that being said I encourage you to to try it out if you have more simplistic projects I will uh, feature that website soon on one of my upcoming videos so that you can see exactly what I did and maybe if you have a similar project you can then decide whether uh, that's something you can do in Gutenberg or not uh, that may encourage you to try it out so yeah that's it uh, if you're building a simplistic project I totally support you going for Gutenberg you will not regret it it's a little bit learning curve just be open-minded to it it's gonna be the future just take it all in. It doesn't matter that it looks like Word. You're used to more fashionable things in page builders, but it's gonna come there. The simplistic look of it adds to the speed. You will see blazing fast responsiveness from it and you will love it. So what is your favorite tool for building websites in WordPress? Is it a page builder or uh, did you already try Gutenberg? If you did, how does it compare with things you use so far? let me know in the comments below uh, and hey if you like this content please give it a like button share if you can and subscribe uh, there's more content like this coming out in the future so uh, thank you for watching uh, take care and see you in the next one